Another day, another dollar. And hey, YouTube is shaking, man. And hey, we backing up under the. And hey, we backing up under the money right now. Give me a second. Big ass open lot. I think I could have picked up this trailer earlier, man, because maybe even yesterday. It's just a big ass open lot. I'm sure, we'll be working with. Hey, we brought out the 13 today. That's how we rocking. That's how we feeling. This big ass open lot. They gave me an 8 to 5 pickup, but the way it looked, I could have got here yesterday sometime. But yeah, we back to the stage. Back to the stage. Nice little two day transit. Nothing crazy. I think this is the same trailer that, um, that I'm always taking. Just can't really remember if it's number 700 or not. But yeah, we out here in Kentucky. Louisville. Louisville, Kentucky. Ain't nothing going on out here. So we're going to hook up. Now we out of here. Got some ground to make up. First intermission of the day. Got a fuel up. Out here in Ohio. Yo, fuel prices skyrocket. I don't know if you've been paying attention, but if you ain't have to fuel up and you was out here driving this truck, you'd be a millionaire by a year and a half. Hopefully you got them good fuel discounts. Very, very important. Not for the week. Yo, one thing for sure, two things for certain. Hey man, I love my city, dog. Oh yeah, I do. I definitely do love my city, but at this point in time, no one could have even paid me to live back up this way. No one could even pay me to live back up this way, dog. Like, I've been in traffic for a whole hour and a half just to go about two, three miles, man. Oh yeah, I'm over the, crossing over the, the, the you know, George Washington foolishness. Crossing over this thing, and I'm talking about bumper to bumper the whole time, yo. I always understand why people don't want to come this way. I get it, but to have to, you got the choice to live here? Nah, I'm not. I'm cool, bro. I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Not at this point in time. I don't see why. I got through the worst of it, but there's going to be a whole bunch more going across the Cross Bronx. That's just how it is. And this is just a regular day. Obviously, it's Sunday. You know, it ain't like it's work hours. Well, it is work hours. It's about 5.45 p.m. right now. So, it's work hours, but it ain't the work day. But it doesn't matter, dog. This is how you're going to get it. This is how they're giving it up every day. Doesn't matter. Holiday or not. So, patience and keep your eyes on the damn road is the most important thing. Because you're going to have people cut in front of you. And you know you're sitting high up. And if you drive like I drive, you got a little... You know, you got a little lean to you. You ain't gonna see the person to cut right in front of you. Especially going this slow because for whatever reason, they want to cut right in front of you. So you got to keep your eyes on it. Shit, I was on the highway the other day and somebody was in the long nose. You know, when you're in the long nose, the view is not as good at all. So, long story short, he, he, he was definitely had somebody bumper all pushed in, trunk and bumper pushed in. So clearly he took his eyes off the road for a split second and then took his foot off the brake before he put his eyes back on the road. Then crunched somebody on um, tail end. Old buddy got out the car was like, yo, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, his shit was folded up and he wasn't even going that fast. So these little fiberglass, fiberglass vehicles, man, them shits fold up quick, fast. You know, so you just gotta keep your eyes on the road coming through this way, man. Burnt the hour and a half of my, my clock and bumper to bumper. But I'm gonna stop in the Bronx, go get me something to eat, cause it's about that time, man. Yeah, it's about that time. One thing I do like about coming back home though, eat proper. I'm not really in the, you know, I'm not really in the care to, you know, see anybody truthfully. So I just go eat and then I'm gonna buy the head. I'm trying to figure out if I could go to the um city field early to go ahead and get me a, a location where I could park at. They didn't say if I could get there early or not, so I'm gonna go ahead and look at the the um 
look at the email that I got sent to see what times they start having trucks pull up at the staging area. Because they want this. Well, they're telling me I need to be out there at 6.30 in the morning. If I could avoid that, that morning drive, I'll just go post up out there tonight and just kick it. You know, watch the Sunday night football game out there with some good food. I'll be good to go. So we're going to find that out in a minute. But yeah, man, George Washington Bridge, it never fails. $16 for, you know, personal vehicle to cross over that. And the truck, I don't know, that shit like a hundred and something, something, hundred and fifty. I don't know. Don't quote me on that, but it's, a, it's, it's in the hundreds for damn sure. Just to drive straight, shit is crazy. Yo, I swear you can't make certain shit up. Even if I tried to, I couldn't make it up. So I'm out here, you know, chilling, cooling, watching ESPN and everything. Just finished eating. Food wasn't all that anyway. Kind of disappointed about that. But I'm sitting here watching the game on my, you know, on the 32 inch. Had it propped up right here on the, on the dash and everything. All of a sudden, I hear, doosh, doosh. I'm like, yo. I look out real quick. Side room never linked the other way. It ain't supposed to been. So you probably wondering, like, yo, what hit me? Of all things. Of all things, dog. FDNY came through, tore my damn mirror off. Well, it ain't off, but you see it's cracked up. You see that's linked up like that. I wasn't even thinking maybe I should fold in my mirror or none of that. See, I ain't never fold in my mirror, but now that I see, I should have. So now we just gotta wait. For NYPD to come through. Last thing I want to do is have to talk to anybody in that. Last thing I want to talk to is anybody in that position. But this is what gotta do. They gotta give me a little bread to fix that, dog. I need that. Link my shit, man. Dude, dude had to call the supervisor out here. We just gonna see how. How you know they say um back the blue and um. When you're on the same team, you're on the same team. So we're going to see how much against me they may be or the energy they're going to project towards me. Even though I'm not at fault at all. I'm over here chilling. We're going to see, we're gonna see if they're going to be respectful towards your boy. Make it quick fast, man. Because the last thing I want to do is be talking to no goddamn authorities' face at this point in time. Like, for real. 5.47 in the morning. Good enough time to start to avoid some of that headache traffic going that way. Yeah, had to wait for them. Um, yeah, they had me waiting for like an hour and a half, almost two hours for them to pull up to take their report and everything. So it was pretty decent. You know, they understood what the hell was going on. Took the information and just got to deal with insurance now so they could go ahead and send that check to fix that mirror. Could have been worse. I'm just glad it ain't hanging on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Could have been worse. Yeah. Almost impossible to be out here moving if, the, if, your, if, your, damn, if your damn side room mirror is on the floor. So, glad it played out that way. So now it's time to get up out of here. As soon as this car get out the way. Hop on the 9-5 real quick. To the what? 678. I'm gonna cross in the Queens. It should be like a quick, quick drive for the simple fact that it's early in the morning. But holla at y'all when I get over there. Yeah, that was quick, fast, and easy to get over here, I tell you. Now we just gotta swing around. Tight ass lot. Got some nice views over here though. Now we just gotta play follow the leader. White pickup truck. Leave me where I need to go. City failure, for those that don't know, that's where the, the Mets play at. Those that's into baseball and all of that. Baseball ain't my thing. A little too slow for you, boy. See the priority of the, of, the, of the mobile stage. 
whole bunch of other trucks over there sitting there, but yeah, get me in first. Yeah, what you talking about? You ain't got time to be sitting there, bro. Get me in so I can get up out of here. Turn like that. They got the the governor's ball going on. I don't know what that is. Sound like you gotta bring out your nice tuxedo though. The, with, the, with the pointy shoes. Yeah. That smell good on. But I gotta hit this left. Take up this whole right lane. Damn, how you crash right here, bro? Like, what you? What were y'all doing to crash right here so early in the morning? It's a weird place to crash, dog. Like, there's not too much activity going on over here for you to crash, bro. It's not a way to start your week, man. Yo, come on, bro. Come on now. Come on now. Should disrespect the school bus. Oh, he turned on right. Perfect. Get this. Man, bumpers on the floor, floor. They got some other stage equipment. I know what it looks like when I see it. Nice to, you know, we out here contributing to the festivities that they throw your boy some tickets. You know what I'm saying? That'd be nice. Throw me some tickets so I can come out here and mingle with the rich folk. That's what we try to do. All I gotta do is brush shoulders with the rich folk and, you know, chill with a whole bunch of bums. Yeah, you're gonna be the bum, but if you chill with a whole bunch of rich folk, you know what comes along with that. That's how I see it. Wanna brush shoulders with the rich folk. So why am I still doing this power only situation? And KB, why you still power only, bro? Why you why you switch it up? You know you can get all the dollars doing flatbed and oversize or get your own reefer trailer, what's up? Well, majority of the reason is I experience things like this and it keeps me interested in doing this truck and shit stuff. Like every day is not typically the same day. And if you out here, that's a big thing for you. If every day becomes the same thing and you just, you, you, you could get burnt out. Every day for me is not a typical day, man. It's always something different. I look at this turn nine. See, clearly he don't drive trucks, so he don't know that I needed this space right here. Come on, bro. I ain't gonna make this. He gotta move that, man. Let me see some. Get. 
This is why it's very important to know how to parallel park people. Those that sitting in school right now, oh, I ain't gonna never have to parallel park. That's a damn lie, you're gonna need it. Measurements is so important, so. Hey, what did your boy learn? What did your boy learn on this vlog? Hey, man. You park on the side of the road. You might want to fold in your side mirrors. Yeah, you just might want to do that. Save yourself the police report and all types of foolishness, but it is what it is. Until the next one, we did. <laughs> one time.